So okay, we made our chart. Uh, now we're going to try to find the square root of one of these numbers. Uh, let's pick the third column here. Uh, 4 times 10 to the 2 equals 160,000. That's a six-figure number there. Uh, so whenever you see a six-figure number, the square root is going to be three digits, 10 to the 2, with the uh, number in front of it, 4 times 10 to the 2. So there, there's a there's kind of a, uh, a, a, sh uh, a way to figure, figure out the square root. What you do is you take the first two digits in the number. Well, this method will only work if you can drop down two numbers at a time. It's kind of like dividing, but it's based on doubling the, the result and then finding, adding a number to it that will, let me show you here. Uh, take the number 161,604. So we know it's going to be in the form of three digits, the, the square root, because it's got six figures here. So you start off with the first two digits, which are 16. Square root of that is 4. So put your answer up here, 4. And then drop down the 1 and the 6. So you've got... Uh, your answer is 4, so add or a multi uh, double that, 8, and then try to find a number. We'll start off with 1 that will equal 16. Well, 81 times 1 is uh, 81. So that's, you got to put 0 here for the second number because it doesn't, it doesn't go into 16. So then you drop down the, the next two numbers, which were 04. Now you've got 1604. So Basically, you have 40 here, so you uh, you make that double at 80, and then try to find a number that'll go into 1604, which turns out to be 2, 802 times 2. So your answer is 402. You found the square root of of the number. So this is going to hold up no matter what what number you put in there. Uh, like uh, the uh, the part that'll change as it goes higher is like 17. So we could figure this out here. Uh, the square root would be 4 with one remainder. And then you drop down the next number, uh, let's see, 81. Let's say it was 81 times 1. So, uh, now I haven't done this in advance, so, uh, but I think you can see what I'm saying. If you drop down the next two numbers, 116, 81, you subtract that from there, then you get the remainder, and then you add the last two digits, and it'll come out right. You know, if it doesn't come out right, well, then it's, it's not a, it, it doesn't have a square root. So that's, that's basically the easy way of finding square roots, but you have to have your table so that you know what the answer is going to be. When you have six digits, it's, uh, it's the answer is, is three digits. When you have four figures, the answer is going to be two figures. When you just have two two digits in in the uh, in the square the square root is going to be one digit so there's a pattern here uh, just knowing these patterns having a constructing a chart analyzing